Hi, Scritty here, seoautopilotcoupon.com. Why do my link building campaigns fail? Um, those of you who know me know that I've, I've been using uh, link building software, SE Nuke, Ultimate Demon, Six Submitter, um, Link Submitter, LinkerX, obviously Scrapebox, Rummer, the lot um, since before 2010. And I've been in SEO um, both with my own company and as a director of a proper bricks and mortar company now combined for something like 23 years since 1996 so as I'm doing this in early 2019 23 years um, if you see my other sites demondemon.com which was one that supported ultimate demon and content machine and various other bits and bobs like that you know what I'm all about and your meta life and the various other sites I have plus my non DM sites if you want to have a golfing holiday in Portugal or rent a car in Europe or various other bits and bobs chances are you've used um, one of my sites so I'm here to answer this question why do my link building campaigns fail and I'm talking specifically about the link building campaigns that you that you create using automated software so although this is uh, specific to SEO autopilot it could also be, be uh, something for SE nuke or something similar or Ranker X or something like that. So hopefully this will just take another few minutes. I'll go through it. So first one, what I'm going to go through how we're going to run this is running through the campaigns. And by doing that, by pretending to run through a campaign step by step, we're going to highlight the weaknesses. So step one, what you'd normally do is create accounts. So if you're building on Web2, articles, wiki pages, even the SEO autopilot um, high authority uh, links where you don't actually put content so much as just create a bio on something like Adobe, um, you still have to create the accounts originally. So part one, most link building tools is creating accounts with various sites. You access the site, so the uh, tool goes away and it uses either sockets or, or a hidden browser and it accesses the site. It solves a capture. I've put that in red and, and I'll show you why later. It adds the profile content such as your name, your bio, a picture if required. Uh, it, if you need username, a blog name and titles, you have an area of weakness here where they have to be unique. That's why spin text is quite important. Uh, you can't, most sites won't let you use a blog title or a profile title that's been used by another. Uh, to give you an example of this, WordPress uh, free blogs have now had something like three quarters of a billion free blogs created on them. So if you don't come up with an inventive title, you've come up with something too generic, it will have been used before. So you have to be quite, you know, there's an area of weakness. And then there are formatting and miscellaneous requirements. So they'll say, you know, you, you can only have um, a thousand characters in your bio. You must have a picture or there is no uh, opportunity for a picture. You can put a link in your bio. You can't put a link in your bio. Um, you need to put a summary of your blog as well as a bio in there or you don't. Uh, SEO Autopilot handles all these pretty well. Uh, by you by the need and the requirement of the user to fill in all the possible options and then SEO uh, autopilot trims or uses just those that are required for each blog so the first message here the first lesson is lesson number one fill in all the options don't need anything blank although some sites don't need the extra data some sites do they're all different there is no standard format okay step two once you've created that you go and verify that email so you need to verify the email which involves accessing the email account sometimes you've got to solve a capture i should actually whenever this comes up i'm going to put this in red you need to solve a capture finally click the link in the email to verify the account there are delays and pauses here which can cause you trouble for instance some sites there may be a 20 minute or 30 minute delay from creating the account to the email arriving if you're using a new email account or a set of new email accounts, there may be a secondary level of authorization that's required before those email accounts are usable. Um, it's best not to just buy a block of like 50 Gmail or Hotmail accounts and just start going in them. Use five or six for a campaign, actually go in manually and check that they all work and check that the incoming and outbound email uh, notification switches are all on um, and that they're all properly authorized. So. That's point number two. Check your email accounts are working, particularly new ones, particularly if you didn't create them you, you, yourself. Um, use good quality emails. There are some like GMAX and a couple of others that are blacklisted that lots of sites, if it's from a certain, I think they're a, a German, Hungarian email accounts. There's nothing the matter with Germany or Hungary. I'm just saying there are some generic uh, email 
providers from company, countries like that where just having that as your email provider it's blacklisted straight away so you cannot you, you, SEO autopilot will fail uh, so use good quality emails you find and clicks the link pauses and delays right here we are you repeat steps one and two over and over so you create an account over and over it goes through and it does this over and over again notice the solve captures in red you add the uh, content over and over again so you go to you access another web 2 account an article or wiki or higher authority link site you solve the capture you add the content you add the titles you do the formatting the requirements of the content titles of formatting varies and it would be helpful if i could spell or didn't add an extra c there let's get rid of that from site to site um, and once again, SEO Autopilot handles this quite well. So you're basically iterating. So you're creating an account. You might create 50 accounts. Then you're adding, then you're waiting an appropriate amount of time. And then you're um, checking the emails and clicking the email links. Then you wait an appropriate amount of time and you're adding the content and adding the links. And you're iterating over and over and over again. So you're adding, you're posting the content and that's all lovely. So you're solving the capture again. You're con posting the content. Um, your formatting including the link format summary block image h tags number of links um, there's all sorts of advice I could give you about your first bit of content um, I've posted before now that the first time you post an account don't put any links in it uh, subsequently use something called co-citation co where you don't just put self-serving links in you put secondary links into non-competing authority sites so if you're selling blue widgets and you've got a you've you've got a, a link to your blue widget site in your bit of content perhaps have uh, a link to the wiki blue widget page where uh, it doesn't exist by the way i don't think unless <laughs> unless they've picked it up as that generic sort of term but um have some something called co-citation so that so you you obfuscate any footprint you might be creating now the next slide will show you where the weakness is okay here we go so here here is the process for your link building tool open site a solve capture create account verify email open site a again solve capture post content open site b solve capture create account verify email open site b solve capture post content open site c blah 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 open site d blah 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 and of course this carries on if you're creating 50 you go to to a w you know uh, uh, open site e open site f open site g open site h now here's the thing the only opening site A twice there and there and then you're never touching it again you're only opening site B twice there and there and then you're never going to it again not until you finished but there are certain things you're doing over and over and over again you're verifying email once every time you create an account so this is an area of weakness repetition of tasks to the same url equals the highest potential weakness so you're verifying the email and then you're verifying the email and it's the same email or you're verifying the email and it may be the same email now uh, seo autopilot allows you to use multiple email addresses i would say one step further it's probably best to use multiple email providers because it will read your, the ip address and there's two parts there it will expect consistency of ip address if different ip addresses keep opening this email account it may well get flagged very quickly if you've got an ip address from america opens it, it opens the account then an ip address from germany opens the account then an ip address from the uk opens the account all in the space of 10 minutes you may well raise a flag and you may well have a temporary ban put on that email account so be careful how you do that but worse still is here you're solving the capture first time you want to solve a capture it's fine it reads your ip address second time third time fourth time fifth time sixth time and here's the thing here is your biggest area of weakness it's in capture solving the proxies you use for capture solving and the capture solving service you use because most of the high domain authority sites you're going to post on use recapture google's proprietary recapture and every time you come across this you're opening the same site you're opening a portal to google google is reading your ip address and then you're solving a capture and then the google again because remember recapture is google solve recapture solve recapture solve recapture you're only going to site a twice and site b twice but you're going to google twice every time you're going to google twice in site a you're going to google in twice in site b twice in site c twice in site d you're going to google to solve the recapture over and over and over again 
and Google is reading your IP address every time you go to them and you're going to them a minimum of twice per link wants to create the account and wants to post the content but it gets worse than that if you have a poor capture solving service you could be snafu'd because if your capture solving service fails to solve a capture first time then uh, SEO autopilot or whatever link building tool you use will almost definitely put in a second request to the same uh, from the same uh, proxy to recapture which again is Google uh, and Google will read it again and you've got a little counter that runs in the background and nobody's quite sure how big this counter is but after a certain numbers of attempts a certain number of recaptures presented to a particular pro proxy Google will temporarily ban that proxy and your your imagine so if your capture solving service does not um, get it first time and maybe it has takes three attempts to get it that's three calls to Google recapture here and maybe it does it first time there so that's four calls maybe it does it second time there and that's six calls maybe it does it first time there and that's seven calls but if you're creating 50 sites you can see how quickly 50 sites will be at least 100 calls to Google and could be two or three hundred calls to Google but it gets double worse again because if you're using a Gmail account guess what that's another call to Google to verify the email to click the link you could be calling Google hundreds upon hundreds of times it's nothing to do or very rarely anything to do with the site if this is live journal and this is Jim Doe and and you know this is the, whoever else you whatever else you're using there you know just going to move this across you know you're using Facebook and, and slash dot and Sonico and all these others whatever you're using you're only going to those twice unless there's something the matter with them but you're going to Google over and over and over again it's better to have 20 high quality fully private proxies than 100 shared or a thousand scraped proxies I can always guarantee you that um, shared proxies are being used by somebody else at the same time you can bet your bottom dollar they're using it for something slightly Google unfriendly at the same time as you so it's not just you using them somebody else is using them somebody else could have them banned before you get the first use of them scrape proxies are more or less a waste of time um, I've got various proxy scraping tools obviously scrape box but there's a there's a great proxy tool from about four years ago on, on BHW I can't remember the name of the guy now but he did a link building tool as well uh, but that proved to be terrible if Google calls was your aim um, scrape proxies at least 95% of them are pre banned by Google they're on a permanent Google blacklist and they will not work so that means you have to make 20 attempts to get one through and by then um, you've probably run out of time and the, and you've timed out and you haven't put enough attempts in uh, SEO autopilot it, it's not going to work your capture service could be killing your campaign if your capture service keeps failing to solve recaptures it could be killing your campaign simple as that because every time they refail you have to ask Google to resend a recapture which is another tick another countdown so let's say each pro it allows each, any proxy 10 goes a recapture in a two-hour period which I think is about what it does okay so if you think about it that's not very many that's one to create the account one to post the content and if it fails once or twice it could be three or four that means each each proxy is probably only good enough to post two or three to create and, and post two or three bits of content in a two-hour period and that's if it's a good proxy but if your capture service is failing and re-asking for failing uns solving the capture unsuccessfully or not solving the capture I should say and asking again that's another tick it, it counts down against you failed capture solves count down in fact they can count down really quick if you fail to solve it three times that proxy could be locked for two hours immediately just on the third attempt three solves sorry you're locked out um, so ask yourself this question do you really need to rush because time here is your friend the thing with nearly all of these timeouts and all of these issues is they are timeouts if you've got 20 private proxies and you're creating 100 profiles and posting 100 links could you do it overnight could you run the campaign nice and slowly with plenty of attempts plenty of delay between creating the account and um, verifying the email and then plenty of delay between verifying the email and posting the content and plenty of attempt uh, 
time between that and then checking the content, checking the link and making sure it exists. Could you allow a nice long period of time for that? Are you in a super rush to create those 100 links? Because a VPS, a virtual private server, could be your friend here. Um, and it could be cheaper than you think. I use a couple of VPSs. One of them only costs um, $30 a month. Um, my proxies are on it and it runs 24 seven very, very slowly. And the thing is, I don't pay the electricity bill for it. So if I think my um, PC at home, which is, I've got two couple of PCs, but the one I mainly use, if I leave it on to create links, it probably uses about 55 UK pence per day. It's got a 650 watt power supply, works at about 55 pence a day if it's on 24 hours a day, uh, which is about 80 cents, nearly a dollar. So if it's on all month, it's used $25 thereabouts, while a VPS is $30. $29 you can get them for decent ones you might actually not be spending much money more money at all but your link success rate might be very much greater because you're not paying the fuel you're not paying the electricity bill on the VPS so I know that's a daft consideration but it's something worth bearing in mind if cost is important and you pay the electricity bill if you've got a computer on running very very slowly or you get a nice uh, cost-effective VPS hosted I don't know there's plenty in Europe there's plenty in South America there's plenty in places like North Africa and, and below the, um, the sub-Saharan Africa as well. There's plenty of places that do that. Um, and you've got a, and good proxies and you, you, you would set up um, a campaign to run at eight o'clock in the evening and come and check it at breakfast the next morning and it's created your hundred links for you no problem with a very good success rate. But to go back to the main point, as you see the colors getting darker here, that's because as they get darker or more red or more angry, that's that process being hit, the same URL, the same thing being hit over and over and over again. Once, it's, once something gets hit more than twice, it starts checking checking the proxies, checking the IP address. You've got to hit it again, you've got to hit it again. It's failed to solve the capture, you're hitting it again. It's Google. You're hitting Google, hitting Google, hitting Google, hitting Google over and over again. It isn't, almost definitely isn't Scoop or Slashdot or Live Journal or whatever else you're posting to, uh, WordPress that's banning you. Your initial issue is almost definitely Google. And so that's why you need high quality Google verified proxies. And that's why time is your friend, taking your time. It's why a VPS could be your friend. To some of you watching this, this will be very simple. You'll know exactly what all this is about. But I'm on the um, SEO Autopilot Facebook page quite a lot. And I see this question come up regularly, once a week probably. And the answer is nearly always the same. Take your time, understand the process, understand what's going on in the background. And what's going on in the background is you're hammering Google over and over again, even if you don't think you are, because recapture is Google, Gmail is Google. Every time you do a resolve recapture or open a Gmail account, Google is reading your that IP address. And it, and if your um, capture solver is failing, you're having to hit it's hitting them over and over again. Okay, so. Hopefully that'll help some of you guys. I tend to, I don't get the 95% success rate. Um, my success rate tends to be in the high 70s to low 80s, which I'm quite happy with. Um, I do sometimes go in manually and fix some that um, have failed. If they're very high domain authority and they've failed, I can go in manually and, and fix them and end up with a success rate in the low to mid 80s. So if I'm running 75 accounts, I maybe get 65, 66 created, which for me is absolutely fine. Um, as long as I, I can manually go in and, and fix most any failed ones that are very high authority above 70 say um, and the amount of time that saves is astronomical you know it, it would take me a day or two to do that by hand I can create uh, an SEO autopilot um, campaign in 20 minutes and, and have it run in the background and nearly all the work's done for me when I wake up the next morning so it's an absolute godsend for me and for my clients because then I post I tend to post content manually to a lot of them but that's just the way I work you can work however you like <laughs> anyway Scrutier SEO autopilot coupon.com signing off